What is up guys? We are back with another unboxing and a review. So this company named Fine Fine Technologies sent me a microphone. So we're gonna do a, an unboxing and a review. So let's get it. So this microphone is the Fine Fine K037B. And um, it's a wireless microphone. It comes with a headset and a lapel mic. But yeah, um, we're about to see what it's all about. So the cool thing is this microphone costs $37.99 USD. Uh, you can find it on Amazon. All of the information will be in the description. So yeah, we're about to see if a 37 microphone is gonna get the job done. If it can open. Alright. Cool. Alright, so we have some paperwork here. Some things, uh company website. You can guys see that. It's all their info. It's all gonna be in the description anyway. Alright, so the Fine Fine K037B user manual. Um yeah, I don't think I need to use the manual. But yeah, the cool thing is you can use this microphone for not just filmmaking, but you can plug this into your sound system, like at church or at an event or whatever it is. And it is it works good like that as well. I think that's what it's for mostly. But I'm going to use it for filmmaking reasons. So we have the headset here. Let me get that out. Let me get this out first. It's not... All right. So this is the receiver, and uh, you have this battery grip case, double A AA or triple A. So yeah, man, it's the antenna here. That's cool. On and off switch. Sweet, but it's plastic. It doesn't feel like cheap plastic. But it doesn't feel like super expensive plastic either, like on your Sennheisers and Shure mics and stuff. But yeah, we're about to see what it's about. All right. So you have your lapel mic. So this is what I would use the most. Yep, this is what I would use. You have this pin here. Focus. Focus, there you go. Oh, lost focus. But yeah, is this, this is a really sturdy clip too. Oh man, this is a nice clip. Feels like this won't break for a while. Right. Okay, so this is the actual mic. It's a little bigger than the one I have on now. The one I'm wearing is a Ceramonic wireless lavalier. We'll talk about that in a later video. But this video is about fine fine. All right, so let's get this out. So this is the headset. So I think, well, I would use this, I think like churches, if you have a small church and you know how pastors wear the headsets. Take this hat off and go fit with the hat on. Yeah, it fits pretty good. I mean, over. We have a 397 in progress. I don't even know what I'm talking about. But yeah, so I'm thinking like if you, I mean, you can plug into your, so this can plug into your actual um, interface, M-Audio interface, and you can plug it into your computer and do recording that way. If you prefer having a headset when you do like tutorials, record your screen, then I don't know how it's going to pick up on the, um, keyboard and stuff so you could check that out too but yeah it doesn't it feels pretty comfortable it's not uncomfortable pretty sturdy yep it ain't moving so that is that and it has the same connection as the other one all right so now we are at the make sure my hat is all right 
my hat be crooked sometimes in some of my videos. So this is the transmitter. And here we go. So this is really sturdy. That'll hold on to something too. Like your belt clip or whatever. Then this is your batteries. Your batteries go in here, obviously. But yeah, this is, I like, I mean, I really like this design. It's not too bad. It's really clean, actually. And uh, about to drop it. Don't break it. You haven't turned it on yet. But yeah, these are really dope. I mean, I think they're really nice headphones. The headphones. I think they're really nice microphones. So I want to get these plugged in. Oh, and of course, you have this quarter inch to uh, 3.5. So this is what you use to plug into your camera. So you would plug this in here, and then this will go into your camera or your recorder, whether it's a zoom, the zoom recorder that doesn't come with the XLR, but that's what that is. So this is pretty much it. So I'm gonna get this plugged into my camera so we can start doing some audio testing and stuff like that. So we're gonna be right back. All right, so we are back and Right now we're checking the audio on the lapel, so I don't know what it sounds like. So this is unedited audio. Let's do a silent test. Okay, so yeah, um, I have no idea what it sounds like yet. And um, now I'm gonna edit it, throw some compression, all that stuff. And we're gonna see what it sounds like in three, two. Hi, my name is Randy Williams. Okay, so now this is edited. Um, made it sound a little better. And we're talking, we're talking, moving my head, moving my head, okay. And um, yes, yeah, so that's that. So we're gonna switch out to the headset now and see what that sounds like. And gotta take the head off. All right, so this is the headset without editing and we're checking the audio. Let's do a room tone, a room test. Okay, so now I'm gonna edit the audio and this is what it sounds like edit it. Not doing too much, too much major editing, just stuff like that. So now we are talking and talking and we're walking and stuff. So now, cool. Now we're about to do a range test. So I'm about to go outside and see how far I can get away before, it, you know, yeah, just walking around and moving. But we're going to do it with this one instead, this one here. All right, so now we are on, we're still on the microphone here. So this is the microphone. So what I don't like about this is it doesn't have a clamp, so it has to like sit. So that's plugged in there. But I don't know where to mount this thing. If I have my camera on a tripod or whatever, I don't know where to mount it. So yeah, so now we're still on audio from Sony. So we're gonna walk out back and get a, shut the door. So you guys can see how far we're walking. Walk around to the backyard. Feet. So, I don't know if it's cutting out or not. Yeah, so now we are in the backyard and the camera is all the way on the other side of the thing. So, we're out here in the backyard. So I don't know if it's cutting in. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. But if it cuts out, then I'll cut back to the Osmo audio. But um, look, those bugs are super loud. Oh, I hate cicadas. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Just shut up. All right, so now we're walking back to the front. Let's see what it sounds like. All right. I need to cut these weeds. They've been growing for like six months now. Don't judge me. All right. And 
we about to see. Blage, blage. Bladdy goo. Blah, blah. And we're back in the house. All right. So that was good for that was at least 30 feet. All right, because this microphone is set for live anyway. So if you use it for a small church or a small venue, will it be able to, you know? All right, so let's stop the recording. For a little under $40, this microphone is absolutely amazing. It sounds awesome. The clarity is there. The quality is there. Um, of course, it's not going to sound like your $800 mics, $500 microphones, but for the price that it it is, yo, this is definitely a must buy. Um, if you can't afford the higher end microphones, get you one of these. This is definitely great. It will definitely add value to your video production and your overall quality. And um, yeah, uh, I can't tell you how important having a lavalier mic for your video production, especially if you're in weddings, corporate videos, commercials. I recommend this microphone if you haven't got the hint yet. I definitely recommend it for $37.99 USD. Yo, this is dope. And um, there are some things I don't like about it. Like again, uh, with the, uh, the receiver, I have no way of mounting it to my camera. I can use gaff tape to tape it to the tripod or something, but to me, that doesn't look professional. But uh, I'll figure something out, um, rig something. But yeah, it is definitely a must buy you can get one even if you have really expensive mics right now you have one you can get an, this one as a backup or just as a secondary mic uh even if you don't have one you can get one so yeah definitely recommend this it's a great buy fine fine did a dope job with this again thank you for watching if this video was helpful like and subscribe leave a comment what are your favorite microphones are you gonna get you one of these? I think you should. If you have a YouTube channel, if you do video content, if you if you create content in general, you should definitely have a microphone like this. Even if you do a lot of live speaking engagements, get one of these, definitely, because the headset sounded really good too, so yeah.